I call this the pinwheels galore block because when you put the blocks together you have a lot of pinwheels and you probably saw that on the the quilt at the beginning. As usual you have instructions and I'm giving instructions for rotary cut blocks and AccuQuilt cut blocks and I'm not giving any yardage because the idea is to use up your scraps but I do give you two different quilt layouts. This is the one that's on the diagonal and I tell you how much fabric you need for the setting triangles and how to cut those. And this is a smaller uh, quilt. Finishes at 32 by 40 and it has 20 blocks in it. So I think it would look really good, really scrappy, but I didn't have a lot of low volume or light kind of scraps. So I had some yardage of these two fabrics and I decided to use it and make it the same through the whole quilt. But I think it would look equally nice, all scrappy and you can make the center pinwheels either one fabric or you can make them all dark fabrics or all dark in a single color way, however you want. This is a really good way to use up your scraps. There's a link to my blog where you can download these instructions and I show you how to do the rotary cutting and uh, piecing and then the AccuQuilt cutting and piecing. Here I have pieces cut out for two blocks. This side over here is for the rotary cutting and we're going to cut rectangles and squares. Then we're going to use the stitch and flip method to get this little, it's called a chisel unit. This is the chisel unit here, which is this unit. So for, for all of the, um, you cut two and a half inch squares and two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. This is for the rotary cutting. And then on the back of each of the squares, you're going to draw a diagonal line. And then you're going to put it, or the rectangle like this, and then you'll stitch on the diagonal line, and you'll trim this edge off, and then flip it and press it towards this direction. And I'll show you the steps for that. You're going to do that with all eight of these squares. There's four that I call the scrap squares, and then four that I call the dark squares. And I have divided mine where I have the dark squares and the tone-on-tone -tone uh, fabric for the chisel, and the scrap squares are, go with the polka dot um, fabric for the chisels. So this is how you rotary cut. Now for the AccuQuilt cutting, you're going to use two dies, and this one is 55734, and it's the chisel die. And this is the half square triangle die. It's 55712, and it's a two inch finished die. The one important thing about this die is you cannot fan fold your fabric. You must place the right sides up because your chisel will look different. If you put right sides down, you'll have two chisels like this and you don't want that. You want them all to be facing in the same direction. And the same way with the, the diagonal line you draw for this, always put the diagonal line on the same side and stitch and, and trim in the same direction. In this case, I'm always trimming off the right corner. So it doesn't matter which direction you do it in, just do all of them in the same direction. For the AccuQuilt dies, or for the AccuQuilt pieces, you simply take the two pieces, the triangle and the chisel, put them together like this, and then stitch down the side. Here are the pieces for the AccuQuilt, all pressed, and you press toward the dark fabric. And here are the pieces for the rotary cut quilt, and they're virtually the same. You can intermix these if you needed to. I wanted to show you the stitch and flip piece I find it easier to stitch to a little bit to the right of the, the drawn line, of the diagonal line. So if you're sewing like this, and this is the corner you're going to cut off. So just to the right, right next to the drawn line, and I know it's hard to see it here, but that gives you better points here and up here. So you might get, if you're not getting good points, try stitching just slightly to the right of that line. And here are the pieces, the stitch and flip pieces where you cut off the, the right side corner. And you don't have to have an exact quarter of an inch. It, you, I just cut these with my scissors and it goes a little bit faster and then just cut those off. 
and then these you'll press to the right as well. So then all your pieces will look the same. Now we're going to put the units together for a block. We're going to take one dark and one scrap chisel and flip them around like this. And then we're going to sew these together right like this. Here are two of the units we just put together. And when you press, you're going to press toward this dark triangle here that makes the dark pinwheel. So press all these in this direction. And this part here is shows how we've sewn the two together. So you lay them out so you form a pinwheel with the dark triangles. And then you sew these two together, then these two, and press to the, to the dark triangles on both, and then your seams will interlock. And this one I have sewed together already, but I haven't pressed it yet, and I want to show you how you can press to get a really nice flat seam right here in the center where all these fabrics intersect. Here is the seam we just sewed. It goes across this way. And if you can see these uh, vertical stitches that are just above this stitching line, there's probably three or four stitches, I'm going to take those stitches out with my seam ripper. So here you can see the seams, I've taken out those three stitches on this side. Then we're going to flip this over and you have more stitches here, right here, and we're going to take those stitches out as well. Now you can see where these stitches have, are out. Now we're going to open it up and look at the underside and you see that this seam is going in this direction and this seam is going in that direction. We want this seam to go down this way and this seam to go up. So these major seams are going in a circle, clockwise circle. So since you've taken these stitches out, you just lay this down and then lay this down and open this up. So I'm laying this down and laying this up. And then if you look in here, if you're really lucky, you get a small little pinwheel here. But most of the time I just get a kind of a blob looking thing. But you'll notice that it just lays nice and flat and if you put your finger on it, you'll feel it's nice and flat. So once you do this, sort of finger press it like this then flip it over. And then with your iron, hit it with your iron right there and then press to continue this direction, you press this seam down and this seam up, and then it'll be nice and flat. So here's kind of what this one looks like. It's, this is one of those blobs, you can't really see it. This is what it looks like close up. And then this one. Once it's pressed, it'll be flatter. So there you have the Pinwheels Galore block, and thank you for watching.